My name is Ludwig Amboster, and this is the second part to our video series about the FASI lookup transform in SSIS 2008. Now, in, in the last video, I showed you basically what we are going to do here. And um, in this video here, I just want to give you an overview first so that you know all the pieces of that solution. Now, here we have a SSIS package. Uh, so it's actually a project containing uh, or a solution containing three SSIS packages. Um, the one we're uh, going to work with here is the Fuzzy Processing Active. And we also have um, a report down here, which uh, currently doesn't show anything. But um, I just want to give you a first overview of all the components to that solution. And then uh, we, we see the solution in action. So basically here we have the package and here we have the source which will contain our uh, bad data or dirty data and let me first show that one maybe so I go here to the connection manager and then we have the location of that file here and just copy that over paste it in and then we'll straight be in the file. So what we what we basically have here is um, um, customer information and uh, let's just assume for marketing or sales reasons um, the marketing or sales department passed that data to you and uh, our our task is now to identify records here which are already customers with us or are maybe new customers right so this this um, incomplete data here, and you see some some records don't have uh, first names, some don't have last names, and then some some of them have X's. So there's a lot of um, um, uh, stuff going on here. Here's the same. Here's a question mark. Here's just a, another thing. So just just want to go through here two question marks. So. Seems like not sure if this is the right street. Um, and probably some misspellings as well since since we don't know yet for sure. So <clears throat> this is our input data and altogether in here we have 336 records but there's a header so altogether we have 335 uh, records in here. Okay that's one part of our solution or of our project here. So I close that, close that too. And then uh, as I pointed out before the whole goal of that project is basically to stage the clean data in a table. I use the Adventure Works here and uh, the table is called clean data. And when I go to the management studio here uh, let me just run that query that you see how that looks like. Here's already uh, um, the result of the process. So it's organized like this. So on the left hand side from from client ID to US state here um, this is let me just make sure this is the clean data and then we have the processing flag, the similarity and the confidence. And on the right hand side of that table, that is uh, uh, basically the input data. And we see some of them are match up, so nulls. And uh, this is just the Excel data also loaded into, into that table. Since um, the requirement is that the business analyst can later go and see, uh, for instance, here we have. Uh, an incoming uh, record with a last name of Huang and with uh, input street uh, Via del Verdes and now we can go over here and c compare uh, or see uh, the, the lookup uh, assigned this incoming record with a similarity of 88% right and with a confidence of 47% to this record in the um, in the reference table. Now the reference table 
is right here. Actually, it's a few, but and um, I created that from the Adventure Works, and um, since I felt it's important that you have an op opportunity to to recreate that um, example, you can also send me an email if you'd like to have all the pieces. I'm uh, happy to send the piece and pieces to you. So basically, the few <coughs> excuse me is just an inner join uh, of the person person of the person address and the person province state province and then I in that case I limit it to all the um, to the only the country reaching code uh, in the United States I'm, I'm, I'm using here for that example so that that is our reference table and then the spreadsheet I showed you before uh, basically just uh, I copied a couple of records out of the reference table to that one and then I changed a couple of them to to have a realistic uh, scenario here now another table interesting for that um, process is the control table and the control table basically is a is a lock table which will um, for each time the package runs it will enter a counter ID which is a uh, an auto an auto identity column, the runtime, the direct matches, the fuzzy matches, and the not matched, and also the package name. The package name isn't of much help for this kind of solution since we just run one package. But if you deal or if you work in a environment where several packages run to the same time, then uh, you would need to have a column like a package name. And we we're gonna look more closer. Um, how those numbers, uh, the direct match, fuzzy matched, and not matched, uh, how, how those uh, uh, will be created in here. And by the way, this um, process control table um, is the source for that monitor here. All right, I think in the in this video I, I showed you basically all the the main important pieces. Now in the next video we we just run the package and then you will see the uh, impact on the solution. Alright, thanks for your attention.